Hey guys, my name is Mike. Uh, this is a 2013 uh, Mustang GT with the FRA package. The FRA package was a wheel package and an appearance package. Nothing too really performance wise about it, but it is a Mustang and I love my Mustangs. And it's owned by my great friend Alec. All right, Alec, uh, what do you got done to your car? What are your plans for the car? Uh, right now, just a uh, coarse axle back. Um, next week, a uh, air raid. Uh, Cool air intake is coming along with a Bama tune. Uh, not planning on keeping that for a while, just uh, with minor mods and bolt-ons. And then after that, I mean, eventually my aspirations for the car, I want to go with the blower. I haven't really decided centrifugal or uh, root screw, but um, that's obviously way in the future. But uh, right now, this is this is where it sits, and hopefully that's where I'll get. Driving a Mustang is like driving any other car, except there's a little bit of heritage behind that. The car's been in production well over, well, a little bit over 50 years now. And um, this is being a 2013, it's a fabulous car. I love these. Like I said, this is Alex's car. He just has a simple little cap back for right now. He's getting a colder intake tune. We're gonna revisit it later. But that's right now, he's just a simple course of ca uh, cap back and it sounds really good. I like the sound of it. It's a, obviously a V8 muscle car. It has a right to sound good. If it doesn't sound good, it's a waste of a muscle car. Um, other than that, they're fabulous cars. I love this. The FRA package comes with heated seats. Uh, the only little gripe I have to say, the suspension is a little soft, but it, it's not bad. I mean, I'm not going out and auto-crossing this car at all. I mean, I mean, I can if I want to, but I'm not. <laughs> this is more of a straight-line speed type of car. But um, I love Mustangs. I have a soft spot for Mustangs. My dad has one. He had an 88 Fox Body GT. He has a 2010 GT. And if you know my brother, he has a complete monster 14 GT with the track pack. Um, but back to Alex's car. I think the FRA package looks great, which the FRA package comes with. Basically, you can't really tell of his car because it's black, but it came with black accents. Uh, the spoiler came black, the mirrors came black, and it has like the pony emblems when you open the door, which is really cool because not a lot of cars had that type of thing. Uh, and it also came with the black wheels, which they look phenomenal. I like the way they look. Sorry about the bumpy road, guys. Um, but other than that, I mean, with standard Mustangs from, I believe it's 2007 and on up, um, you can change the ga uh, uh, gauge colors and all that, which is kind of cool. I mean, if you're into that thing, I am. It's all right. It's okay. <laughs> um, I will say this, though. The Coyote is, I think, personally, one of the best motors that Ford's made easily in the past 50 years. It is fantastic. It's pretty reliable under boost. It's a fantastic motor. I revs really high. Yeah, that course it sounds really good. I like the way these sound. I love the way this car sounds. It sounds great. All Coyotes, in my mind, sound great. They're fantastic sounding cars. Like I said, it's a Mustangs always sound good. They've always have. He has the premium audio system here as well. Um, it's audio. Not a big fan. As long as I can play dead mouse, I'm good. Um, but handling wise, I mean, I've driven my dad's car. I've driven a couple two valves. And what I mean by two valves, uh, 99 to 04. Uh, both of the live rear axle, obviously, not a Cobra, non Mach 1, well, Mach 1 still have live, live rear axle, but you get what I'm saying. Um, the third, and I think 20 on 11 on up, they, Ford did the most they can do with the live rear axle. I think they did a fabulous job. The only hiccups I ever could feel. So I'm going around a corner, and I'm trying to go around it swiftly, almost. You'll do feel that that can kind of kick up and want to break loose, which is kind of sketchy at first. But once you get the hang of it, it's like riding a bike. A lot of people complain about the MT82s, but I mean, as long as you're not like, you know, no lift shifting, you'll be fine without grinding out gears. I hate when people say, oh, the MT82 is horrible. Yeah, it is horrible if you beat the piss out of it. But, you know, that's if you beat the piss out of it. You take care of it, you don't, you know... Beat, like I said, beat the piss out of you, you'll be good. Right up about Mustangs in general though, that I have to admit, the, the, when they come stock with the tires, I hate the OE tires. Like these Goodyears, I mean, they're crap. I'm sorry, I hate these Goodyears. I, I don't like the RSAs, I don't like the Pirelli P Nero Zeros, they're complete garbage. That's just a personal preference. I mean, my brother's rocking those uh, Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2s, which I'll have to say, those are fabulous tires, you know, with these, Good years. I mean, as soon as Alex starts doing bigger mods, he's going to have issues with traction, that's for sure. And that's what I recommend for people if you're going to go higher horsepower with these Coyotes and if you're, you know, not one the Pirellis anymore, I'd recommend either the Toyo uh, Proxies 8888s or I'd go with the Nitto N205R or 
tried and true Michelin pilots work cup twos. Nothing wrong with them. Horsepower on the car in the 13s and 14s, they're rated for 420. Uh, horsepower to torque number, numbers. I don't know them off the top of my head. I'm sorry, but I know them are the high threes and not low fours. Uh, for the 11 and 12s, if you're looking, they're going to be around 412 for horsepower and roughly 400 foot pounds of torque. So don't quote me on the torques. I know the horsepower is for sure. And the 15s on up, they're rated for 435. And if you go to the GT500 bosses, the bosses for uh, 2012, they're 444 and low 400s for torque. And the GT500s are rated for 540 from uh, 2010 up to 2012. And then from 13 and 14, the boss stays the same with horsepower. But the Shelbys go to 662. So if you like high horsepower stuff, you can go, you know, stinks. Oh, it is true though. Um, uh, when I was driving this earlier off camera, uh, the clutch does get harder the, the higher in the revs you go. And that's like a learning curve to this car because when I drove a 2012 GT with basic bolt-ons and I just drove, cruised around town with the LUD cam or LUD ghost cams and I didn't have really issues with the clutch. But like when I drove this, oh my god, yeah, it's different, different story. God, I love these things, man. I love these things. I need to get one. I need to get one. Eclipses are not for me. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. I need something with a big V8. That's for damn sure.